Okay, guys, let's now move on to 3.2. Okay, it says the upholsterer can use the following materials to cover the tops of all the ottomans. Synthetic leather, genuine leather, or canvas, right? The materials are available in the following colors, red, brown, and white. Okay, Annex C shows a tree diagram that represents the choice and color of material to be used to cover the ottomans. So we need to find Annex C. I've got it here with me. Make sure you have it as well. Then it says to answer the question that follow. Write down the missing items A and B. Okay, so we're sitting over here. Here's missing item A, here's missing item B. Okay, so firstly, let's kind of see and orientate ourselves as to what this diagram is saying, right? You should be familiar with tree diagrams, right? This is part of probability, right? It helps us with choices, right? So we can see here, his choice of material, he can either have synthetic leather, genuine leather, or he can have canvas, right? And then the RBW stands for red, blue, white, which is the colors. So for each of the different types of material, there are the three different colors. So you should see that there are nine options. Okay, so B is going to be white, right? RBW, you can see all of them are RBW. So B, I mean A over here, is going to be white. So just make sure that you write it out nicely. So you say 3.2.1 and you say A is white. Okay, so it asks us to fill in the items. You can just say W or you can say white, right? Because that's the color. And then B over here, you can see here with each of the options, they put the material represented by the letter and by the first letter, and then the second letter represents the color. So SR means synthetic leather and in red. So here, this B over here should be synthetic leather in blue. So it's going to be SB, right? So it's going to be SB, which is actually synthetic leather, synthetic leather in blue. Okay, so you see over here, this is genuine leather in red, so we have GR, that's an option there. You can have it in blue, you can have it in white. Okay, so make sure that you understand what this is actually saying. Okay, it's giving you an indication of the different options that are available to them. Let's now go on to the next question, okay? It says, determine, let me just make sure you can see. Determine as a fraction in simplest form, that's important, right? The probability of not selecting a red, of, uh, selecting red material. Okay, so let's look at our diagram here. Let's find which ones are red. So this one's red, and this one's red, and this one's red, right? They're all different materials, but they're all red. So the ones that are not red are one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? Let me show you again. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? So it's the blue and the white version of the three different types of material. So we know that six out of the nine are not red, okay? So our probability, remember probability is always how many um, different ways can we get what we want? In this case, not red. There's six ways we can get that over the total number of different events we can get, which is nine. Remember, that's how probability works. Now, it said in simplest form. If you can't do this in your head, don't stress. Put it in your calculator, and your calculator gives it to you in simplest form. So it is 2 over 3. Okay, that is its simplest form. Don't write it as a decimal because it asks for it as a fraction. Okay, so be careful that you're answering the question that's being asked. Okay, so this was seven marks, right? It's quite a lot of marks, but not too difficult. Okay, let's now go on to 3.3.